Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to become overpowered and tips and tricks on how to grind this game super easily and become one of the best players and maybe get on the leaderboard. So let's get into it. So first what you wanna do is when you spawn, you wanna talk to Bang so you can get your quests. So you wanna click on him. You already have an active quest from me. Uh, so what you wanna go to this green person, click on him, wanna click on the quests, and you should have a quest from a Bang. Of course, you won't have mine because I'm super, super far in the game. Uh, I'm halfway through the entire game. Uh, I'm still training, so I can become OP. But yeah, uh, we have a Goku over here. On top of him, he says he has the class shop. So you can buy classes. And this is how much yen you get every minute. So basically, the higher the class, the more yen you get every minute. And this is good because you get yen uh, just by you know playing the game. Uh, the higher class, you need yen to buy the class. You also need a requirement of strength. I'm trying to get this one. Uh, it's really expensive though, but it will give me a lot of yen. So that's a good plus. Uh, yeah. Um, now, in this game, you have training areas where they boost the amount of strength or you know the stat you are training. Like if I hit this, it requires 100 physical strength. It is multiplying the, my multiplier by another multiplier. For example, it is multiplying my strength by five. Because my, originally my multiplier is 16,000. You also can up, uh, upgrade this multiplier by getting yen. So, let me break it down for you guys. So, to get more strength by just punching or doing the skills without being in any training area, you upgrade these stats. And then these stats correlate to training area stats. So right now, regular punch 16,000 because my multiplier is 16,000. If I hit this, 80,000 because it multiplies my original stat by five. And of course, the higher you go, the more uh, strength you get. For example, if I uh, need to go to a training area, I think that's a training area over there. So I'm just going to go over there. I'm gonna turn on water running. Cause that's just better. So if I punch this, as you can see, I get 1.63 million because it is multiplying my stat by uh, how much again? 100, yeah. It multiplies my original multiplier by 100. So that's basically how this game works. You wanna train up all your stats to become super OP. This number over here is the total amount of strength. So if I add this, 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 and this, uh, 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 this, these don't count because they're not really powerful. They're, they don't correlate to any powers you have, which is what I'm gonna talk about next. And as you can see, total power, seven trillion. Boosts, they come from the boss if you defeat the boss. Powers, you get powers from completing quests. There's different people in this game that give you certain quests to give you certain stuff. You can unlock stuff, like you can unlock a stand by using Chikara shards. You can unlock quirks. You can unlock Kagunes. You can unlock devil fruits. Devil fruits are found around the map. You can also find chests that, can, that uh, are filled with Chikara shards. The best way to get Chikara shards are complete quests that people give you. Like this guy, Giorno, you can either buy a stand for 1,000 car shards or click on Giorno, he'll give you a quest. And then if you complete that, you'll get yen and car shards. And the last thing we have here are the specials. This is what I'm talking about. The specials are like the stand, the kagunes. You can unlock these from going to different areas. To get a stand, you basically just come out of the spawn, and you look over here near the tree, the spirit tree, and you walk over here, unlock your stand. You can get Kagunes 
from, I think you get them from uh, in the city over there. To get quirks, it is the hospital. Unlock your quirk. Double fruits are scattered around the map. The uh, Grimoires are near the library. It's in the Grimoires tower. I'm gonna show you that right now. So I'll recap, this is where the stands are. The quirks are over there. Devil fruits scattered around the map. There's videos on how to get them, but I'm not gonna show it because I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, so we come to the gym. You don't go into the gym, you go onto this path. You go past the library. As you can see, there's a castle-like tower. You wanna go into it, and this is the Grimori's Tower. This is a training area, and you can unlock your Grimori. I have the best one, so I don't really care about that. Uh, and that's basically it. That's all of this. Also, about swords. Swords, as you can see, it's a uh, stat. So basically, you train this. Uh, swords don't really matter because they don't correlate with much powers. You don't get a lot of powers with swords. But I think I have all the sword powers. Actually, I don't have hollow mode. But yeah, so swords do not really matter, but I trained them just to, uh, you know, be strong. Uh, yeah, so you can unlock swords by doing quests. After you finish, after you get the uh, triple bladed scythe, you talk to uh, Zoro or whatever his name is, and he'll give you even more swords. And yeah, that's uh, basically all you need to know. And to AFK grind, just get an auto clicker. If you're on mobile, then I don't know what to say. Just You can follow all of these quests, but you might not be able to AFK grind. So if you're a mobile player, play another game, I guess, because this is only meant for PC players because it's Ill easy to grind uh, for PC because you can get an auto clicker. Uh, I'll show that how to get an auto clicker in another video or you can just search up on the internet how to get an auto clicker. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And to find the training areas, just look at this map. But yeah, we have a boss here too. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I am aiming for 1,000 subscribers. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What the hell? I'm floating in the air. Okay, bye.